didn't know, I bought a car, and then I crashed it, but then I got it fixed, and I was able to pick it up. Bruh, look at this baby. <gasps> we got the baby back! So that's why this video is three weeks late. Enjoy! Good morning! I just got a new freaking package of clothes! Look at this thing! Mm. For the titties! They're gonna look so cute. I got this cute, cute little hoodie right here. So cute. Let me change it. I'll be right with you because I'm running late to my dentist appointment. Perfume. I just got ready. Put it on a sweater because it's literally freaking like raining outside. Well, it's not no more, but it's still like really cold. I'm completely ready now. Let's go. I'll talk to you guys in the car. This damn garage, man. A dentist appointment through these noises paranoid i have a dentist appointment at 9 a.m i'm gonna be there 10 minutes late unfortunately you know i have to change my invisalign i believe welcome to my official car decorating video I've done it every single year every time i've gotten a car so we will be decorating my whole car but first i need to go get my teeth checked out and then we're gonna decorate the bends we <laughs> that's one of the things that i bought for the decorations because this camera is falling the frick off perfect thank you so much we got my matcha. Literally the walk of shame. I'm leaving because it wasn't even today, it's tomorrow. <laughs> we have so many packages. Whenever I decorate like my cars or anything, I order everything on Amazon. It's really hard to find car stuff in person. So many packages. So we have all of these, a few over there, and then I also have a few in that counter over there. Let's open our first Amazon. Oh, perfect. Phone tripod for the car. Suctions onto the dashboard, which is just perfect. This car decorating video is like featuring creator, YouTuber edition. Obviously stuff to make my car pretty, but it's also stuff so I can get content. Oh my God. Amazing. For those of you that did not watch my video, I recently got a new car. It is a Mercedes GLE, so it's an SUV. The Mercedes logo it has right now, this lights up. It's like an LED. Bro, I don't even know how to wire this. I don't know if I should with this we're gonna call my dad next thing in here this is a sunglasses holder it has a mercedes embroidery bougie luxurious next package <gasps> beautiful this is my registration and insurance holder it's white and it's so cute and it's just gonna match so perfectly all this stuff that i bought from amazon by the way will be linked in my storefront down below under new car item we're gonna put all of our documents in here next package these are little lightning cables. They're six inches. My Mercedes actually does not have CarPlay. At least wireless, they don't. The port and then have the phone there. The next package. We got a car tripod. So all of our cars have tripods. The new car needs its own tripod. We're gonna build it while we're here already. This is the little GoPro attachment. This is the little car tripod right here. If you are trying to start a YouTube channel, this is your best friend. If you're trying to vlog in the car. This is the adhesive piece, so this goes on the dash. Next box. What the frick is this? It has like a little car, but... <gasps> yes! No, they sent this in the wrong color. No, they didn't. Huh. Baddie coming freaking through. This is my little key holder. I got it in white. This is the little back piece. Next box. Oh, nice. This is a car cover. This was supposed to be in the color of my seats, but it came a little darker, which is fine. Protects your seats so whenever I put the girls in the car, they don't scratch or damage the leather in any kind of way. I don't care what you have. Kids, buy this. Next box, I think this is my steering wheel. Oh, <gasps> yeah. I got a steering wheel cover, but I did not get it in a light color like my interior. Um, honestly, this is the most like wear and tear part. And I don't think it's something you want to dirty. One more thing. I got these, which are bag holders. So you put this behind your seats and it holds your purses. You got four. Another one. Oh, yes. I was so excited about this. You got an LED mirror. I thought this was... No, I got the wrong one. So there was a battery operated one. And then there's the cable one. And I got the cable one on accident. This is our tray. My car is so unorganized because it's so deep. I'll show you guys in there. So this tray goes in the center console. Another one. What is this? I have no idea why I bought this. Next box. <gasps> Oops. This was my skims order. We got a few more. I honestly bought so much stuff. This is a headphone mount, but this is for my office. Oh, this is my matcha. Sorry. Oh, more matcha. We got this one from Chamberlain Coffee. I got this one from Jade Leaf. This is the barista edition for the matcha. We'll try these out tonight. There's a few things that we are missing, like car mats, essentials baggy. These are things that we need to actually go purchase because I couldn't find any online that I really, truly love. Before we can even decorate my car, make it all pretty on all that, the most essential thing is turning your fishbowl car to look like a privacy car. So we added window 
tint. Here's the footage. Finally, you're gonna get this fishbowl tinted. Look it, this looks like an actual fishbowl right here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm turning to a new improved woman. Look at me. Thank you. So I hate matcha. It tastes like absolute ass and grass. There's some essential things that you also have to do to the car, like ceramic coating, which if you don't know what ceramic coating is, I don't know either. All I know is that it protects your car, so I got it. We got ceramic coating on the inside leather. Now that we have the most essential stuff here, let's go to the car and start decorating. Starting off with the steering wheel cover. This is what my steering wheel looks like right now. This is just normal how it came out of the dealership. This part always gets me. Let's see if we can do it. If not, we're just gonna have to call my dad. I would say. Let's do my little key. Snap the back in. There we go. Our little sunglasses holder. We'll put it right up here. This is my garage key. I'm gonna put it on the passenger side. Let's put our LED mirror on. This is so cute. I don't know how I feel about these like lines right here, but the mirror is definitely that bitch. Center console now. Got our little tray. So why doesn't this fit? I'm out of 10. Let's do our insurance. This is my tire warranty. Something you wanna keep in your car, our tire warranty. I got an extra license plate to put in the front, which we will not be putting. We'll see how long we last without getting pulled over. I got my windows tinted, and then this is a lifetime warranty. This is my current registration. This is all up to date. Gum from Starbucks, of course. Let's put that in there. Let's do our tripod now. So we wanna put it in a position. Here's the trick. You wanna put it somewhere, see right here? It, it's not gonna fit. The more back, the better. I just put the adhesive right there. This is a speaker on my car. Let's just have high hopes here, okay? I did it. There you go, your tripod is set up. We have our little clips here. Now we're gonna use this one, which see, it doesn't match perfectly, but it's fine. Let's go put this in the trunk for now. Good morning. It is another day, it is another. <laughs> Bruh. It is another car decorating day. I'm gonna add a few more things to the car, give you guys a full car tour, and it's an Eli's soccer game today, so we're gonna go over there and support her. And what? Oh, look who decided to call me back. Bro, now Lai looks busted even when going to school. God, <laughs> I'm not going to school, man. It's literally Friday. I'm sicko. Damn, so y'all yeah, better not see you go to your soccer game then. I'm still going. Ma! Oh my god. Damn the lie. I'm home alone right now. It's just a me and Ellie house. Jake and Thea are in Bakersfield. Look at how cute. Yo, we just got here. Look at the cart. Oh, great. And we got more. And we got more. <laughs> Look at what mama bought you. You want some? Mm, little beef patties, you want some? Work. Work. Yes! I just finished getting ready. I put on this little bodysuit, it's just black. Pack some jeans by Nikes. And this jacket, cause I'm all ready for Nelai's soccer game. TMI, my boobs do not actually look like this. I'm wearing like a super, super, super push up bra. My boobs have dropped so much and they've like shrunk like two cup sizes. So I'm like, <laughs> we got this little bag from Amazon. I unboxed it in the morning. White and super, super cute. It matches my nails. So this is where we're gonna put all of our essentials. I feel like in a car, there needs to be an essentials bag in the glove box. There just has to be. I went to Target to get some really good essentials to put in our car. A mini deodorant. You never know when you're gonna forget your deodorant, babe. Dog mom things. Mini lint roller. Very much needed. I also got this bum bum cream, but it's like in a mini size, which is so cool. I got these like butt bands. Ooh, needed those. I saw this cereal. 
are supposed to be like healthy? Got it. Burrito tortillas? Got it. Protein pasta? Got it. I just bought so much to be honest with you guys. Got some Vaseline. This is for the lips. We're gonna put the baby one in here. Tylenol, just a little travel case. Never know when you're gonna get your period. Some medicine is good. You never know. Literally, what do you need toothpaste and a toothbrush in your car for? I don't know. But you know what? I'm never gonna wait to find out. I'd rather just be prepared. Disinfecting wipes, hand sanitizer. Of course, we're gonna do Touchland. This is the Applicious smell. These are food essentials. Icebreakers, you don't know when your breath is gonna stink. Asteroids, I know, like, so unhealthy. What if I'm just, like, starving somewhere? Like, you need to have a snack. Rice Krispie in the chocolate flavor. Damn, this is not gonna close. We got our little essentials baggie here. Let's go. We are in the bend. It literally got dark. I just woke up. We're putting this one in our glove box. I just feel like my little middle compartment here, there's not enough space to put like a whole, like, ooh. Let's go to a live soccer game. We're taking my matcha. He fucking lish. I got an alive this set of books right here. Bitch, I don't see the door. Ellie just scored. Run. Oh, no. Nalai! <gasps> Hi, Nalai! <laughs> <laughs> That's at five because I was just tired of them. It's going quick. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Check my mom's location. <laughs> What's all this shit? Okay, at 3 30. Now this is a checkpoint. My heart's on the fucking ground. Yo, how the fuck did we stumble at a checkpoint right now? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you guys? Good, good. Alright, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What in the fucking fuck just happened? Ellie did some damage on the leather. So we're here doing damage control? Yeah, we're literally doing damage control. The car is all done now. For the most part, just stuff that I could do and the decorating. The car itself is already a really, really, really beautiful car. On the door, we have our little control. The headrest, the backrest, the bottom. And then this part right here moves this part of the seat. This one right this here. up just like that. And then moves it down. That's it for this whole control panel right here. Heated seats, these are ventilated seats. These are for my passengers, so I'm actually able to hit this button right here. And with my dial here, we can move Nalai forward, or we can move her backward. The lock and unlock is inside of the little handle piece right here. This is my window control. I do have the automatic where you just click. This is to lock my windows so nobody can put them up or down. This is for my side mirrors. You basically hit each one and then you're able to move your mirrors around. I have some storage down here and I just have an umbrella. That little button right there opens my trunk. This is my steering wheel right here. I put the cover on it. This dial right here just controls the volume. This is to pick up the phone. I've never used this one, so I have no clue what that is. This just takes me home. This is actually a like touch pad, so I can actually control over there and then you're back. This feature right here lets you control your car to follow the car in front of you. This is tells you how far you wanna follow the car in front of you. This is to cancel that. This moves up your speed of how fast you wanna go. And this right here takes you home. And then this right here is also a touch pad. This one controls this dash right here. So you're able to in here and just, I don't know, put whatever you want. I like this one because it tells you my speed right there this button right here takes your car from this is comfort right here comfort sports i'll show you right here and then sport plus and then 
race mode. There's like the slippery one. I have no clue what any of this is yet. So now we move on to the center part right here. So these are all of our vents. This is all to manage the AC. This is really like touchy. There's too many buttons. But if you just hit this down right here, the whole AC panel will pop up here and then you're able to put the AC higher on, off, doesn't matter, to the feet, to the face, the temperature on there. And then you're also able to control the second row of seats for the people in the back. You're also able to do it here, but it's just a whole, it's too touchy for me. I don't like it. This is the middle console right here and it looks super sleek because this is closed but when it's open it doesn't look as sleek so you got the cup holders right here two cup holders they're actually extra wide cup holders so they fit like stanley cups and stuff this is a wireless charging pad right here and then you got your charging ports right there the cup holders are chilled the eagles blue and they're also heated here this is just a trackpad so you're able to control the screen up here just by like legit just moving your finger this will take you back home and then that will play the next song and go back when i first got in the car i thought that this was a shifter but it's not it's just to hold on to the car in case you're going fast as well as these and then i have no idea what that is this is my camera so if i hit that my camera will pop up and i do have a camera so that's my backup my front and it has the 360 so you can see all around you you have this which clearly shows you you know you're not parked right babe and then that's a close-up for like your tow hitch this i have no idea what it is this i have no idea what it is this is for navigation or map radio media that's to play music and then telephone i have no clue what it is this is also to put your volume up or down and then if you hit it it mutes it down here i have no idea what that is this is for traction control and this is the suspension you're actually able to rise your car by moving this up or down in case you're going up like a steep hill and such for the suspension but i don't mess with this and then this is i guess your exhaust because when you turn it on your car sounds loud this is my center glove box right here this is my elbow it, okay that, that's one of the bad things about this leather if you press on it it will stay dented for like five minutes it sucks like here in here we got a charger gum a lip balm an e-collar remote for ellie you're probably wondering like now where is your shifter let me show you where it's at it's this right here so whenever you want to put the car in park you just hit this button and that's park it kind of works like a windshield wiper it doesn't actually stay up so let me show you guys real quick so my foot on the brake then i move it up and now we are in reverse see now if i wanted to go in drive you hit down and now we're in drive see it's kind of like a windshield wiper and if we wanted to park you just boom and the car's now in park that was definitely something really handy that they added because you don't have to deal with the whole like shifter or whatever it gives you more space they give you this huge speaker up here which is where we put our tripod this is what this looks like so now we have this huge mirror that i can actually oh, turn on got my glasses here this is in my overhead right here so this is just a reading light just to actually open my sunroof so if i hit back the sunroof open so i do have a huge 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 panoramic i think this is a moonroof it goes all the way to the back row of the seats it is huge i can also open the glass with this this is my glove box right here you got my little essentials baggie right here my insurance and registration my car paperwork other side is identical as mine it just has a little bit less features but it's literally almost the same the car does have the ambient lighting that runs throughout all the way on the passenger side it even goes like on the back seats right there where you hit ambient lighting you can change the color of it and it'll give you a dial and literally any color you put it on it'll go green so you can also change the brightness of it if it gets too bright for you at night Car does come with massage seats so you're able to set those on here passenger and driver they have a few that you can actually choose from right here i like the hot one because it literally turns your seat warmer on there's this other shit that to be honest i have no idea you can adjust like the seats in weird ways i just don't really mess with that there's a lot of more features that i'm definitely missing but i just literally just got the car so there's not a lot that i know of it yet I'm gonna do a full tour of the back, but this is kind of the space on here. I did add the little hooks for my bag, which clearly are already being put to use. They do have the nets back here if anything needs to go on there. We have like this little like sunshade thing. So it goes up and it covers the sun for the passengers. One vent right here. You have your little AC, so you got those two vents right here. You're able to control it so you can move this. This actually lets you control if you want it to your top, to the feet. There's two different ACs, so this one could be one temperature, this could be a different temperature. I feel like I don't really sit back here, but it looks so so nice from back here we obviously have our stuff there so ignore it but this is the little cover it has you're actually able to drag this all the way back if you need all of the space i do have a first aid kit have this on the side just in case you never know this is the cover for the back seat for the girl you're able to adjust how high this goes up you have the amg by the door amg mats anti-slip pedals the car itself has like a super super sporty vibe to it which i like because it already kind of looks like a mom car so you have to make sure it has some type of sporty vibe to it because if not you're literally gonna look just 
just like a mom car driving a minivan because the car is actually really big itself it's comfortable it's really nice it looks really bougie it's a really nice car so 10 out of 10 happy with my decision love the car so much thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did not watch the video of me purchasing the car i will link it down below that will conclude my car series thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> Yeah, yeah.